Hi, it's John. Now I've had various requests for details about the solar panels. Now, of course, anybody in the EU will be familiar with some of the terms, but uh, anyone outside the European Union won't be. Now, this array, these solar panels, this is my house. I've had these solar panels on for uh, three years. Um, and the amount of panels there is three, just under four kilowatts. Um, so if the sun were to be shining at its maximum, um, it, it would be generating just under four kilowatt hours of energy. So that's like um, two kettles, isn't it? Um, and that feeds into the national grid, the electrical national grid. It goes, comes off the roof, and then in the roof, there in the loft space, there is an inverter. And the inverter can change the direct current, um, which comes through at different voltages and different currents all the time because of the varying sun. It can change it from direct current to alternating current. Now our alternating current is 50 cycles per second. So this box in the roof is an amazing box. And when it's really hot and sunny, it's working quite hard. It's humming quite hard in the roof. Um, now down in the kitchen, we've got a, a meter and the meter records how much electricity we put into the grid. And the amount of electricity we, we, we put in is about 6,000 kilowatt hours a year. Um, and uh, and um, I get paid about 50 pence a unit for each of those um, kilowatt hours. So that 50 pence is mainly subsidy from the government because um, after the Kyoto Agreement, the European Union, um, they didn't want electricity to be made out of fossil fuel, um, so they thought of all sorts of way to, ways to stop electricity being made uh, as, uh, out of fossil fuel and all sorts of ways to stop people consuming um, electricity from fossil fuel. And uh, so it's mainly subsidy. And even though I get paid for the electricity, I can still use it as well. And I still get paid, even if I use it. Um, so uh, I tend to try and put the electric on, like things on, like the washing machine, it, it, when the sun's shining. And you get free, that free electric from me. So you get £3,000 subsidy and then free electric in the uh, when the sun's shining. Um, the whole system cost around £17,000 and it will last 25 years. But I think we calculated that after about seven or eight years it should have paid for itself, as long as the wind doesn't blow it off the roof. Um, I would say it's the best investment I ever made because not only do I get £3,000, that £3,000 is tax free. So don't have to declare it on income tax. So that's easy. Um, the f the, the, the uh, 50 pence is basically what they call fee feed-in tariff. And um, there's other ways people can feed in tariffs through um, wind and water. You know, water turbines. For domestic roofs, the um, th just under four kilowatts is the maximum you can have on a domestic roof for for the feed-in tariff. When the scheme started, um, it was a very good feed-in tariff. I think it, mine was about th thirty-nine pence feed-in tariff, and then five p for every unit of electricity that I didn't use. But they estimate that anyway. Um, but that was inflation proofed, so now inflation has gone up, and that's why I say it's now about 50 pence. 
have I covered everything? Um, oh yes, I was going to say that as time has gone by, the feed-in tariff has been reduced on new projects. But also the cost of solar panels has reduced. So, uh, uh, so it probably costs about half as much. Probably costs about nine thousand pounds now to have the uh, solar panels put on. But you'd probably only get fifty to fifteen or twenty pence feed-in tariff. Mine, mine is on a contract, so I, I'll be getting the, uh, I'll be getting the um, approximately fifty pence for the twenty-five years that the contract is on. Quite what happens after twenty-five years, I don't know, but I don't think I'll be that bothered. Right, bye for now.